All right, it's Ron Goodall, fighthype.com. I'm here with Kenneth Sims. How's it going? Good. Great. My good. Yeah, we just chilling at the DLX boxing gym, get some workouts in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I ain't working out right now, but just uh, chilling. Yeah. Gym, boxing, uh, can't get away. So. so I gotta ask, I'm sure you've heard from many different people about Ryan Garcia filming his drug test against Devin Heaney. Just what's your thoughts on him? I mean, cheaters are cheaters. I don't really no respect. I don't respect cheaters, uh, especially not boxing when you cheat with hey PEDs and you know that's dangerous could hurt hurt people dying by it so no, that's not really a laughing matter it's not really a joking thing and I I just posted on my Facebook that I, I don't know what is going on but I have never in my life seen so many people defend somebody yeah. for failing a drug test for the steroids <laughs> I mean, why, why do you think that's the case? I have, I don't know. That's why I said, I, I said, what the, is, what the fuck is going on? Because I ain't never seen so many people defend, I've seen so many people defend somebody yeah. for failing a drug test for, for steroids. <laughs> I mean, why, why do you think that's the case? I have, I don't know. That's why I said, I, I said, what the, is, what the fuck is going on? Because I ain't never seen so many people defend somebody for failing a drug test for steroids, especially in boxing, like a combat sport. So, like, do they just not, not let, like Devin Haney that much? Or, like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think Devin put, like, a boondocks, uh, a clip from the boondocks on his Twitter. Kind of yeah, I don't something. know if it's because they hate Bill or they hate Devin, but I ain't never seen nothing like this. Like, people with their conspiracy theories, and I don't know. Well, do you do you feel like maybe it's just the fan base not understanding how drug testing works? Like, what what is it? Do you? Do I mean, you... probably, probably. Ryan got a lot of fans that's not boxing fans. So, but I'm seeing boxing people saying the same thing, so I don't really get. I don't know what's going on. It's like the Twilight Zone. I don't know what's going on. Ryan says, you know, you, you, you've done drug testing and things like that. And Ryan mm -hmm. says that he'll be wanting to do his B sample, but he feels that essentially his test was uh, contaminated. So regardless if it was A or B. Because Devin works with Victor Conti, which or or, or the sack situation, or, by, right. or his A sample is going to be dirty, so his B sample is going to be dirty because he took steroids. <laughs> Why did for for, <laughs> for the for the people who don't understand, like, because they're like, well, he's passed his other test, right? They're like, he's passed his multiple different tests. He posted online, but the day before the fight, after the fight. Why am I dirty? Essentially, is what he's claimed. Like I, I passed m multiple tests, they're setting me up. So. I don't know. All I know, I ain't up there. There was one of my work. I I'll be hearing people talk about it, like it's like off of them, it's like on them. I don't know what none of that means. I'm not interested to find out what none of that means. I I'm a clean fighter. I like to be on a level playing field when I'm fighting. So I don't know what none of that means. All I know is the drug test came back. Positive. <laughs> I, I took I take drug tests before my fights. Never feel one. So. So what's what's the, just walk me through like how do you like for Vada? So is it Vada? That you yeah they said? yeah they he, it was Vada he uh, said. So 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 the process. So like of, I've been taking drug tests since I was 18 years old when I was only 18. 18 mm -hmm. years old. Never feel one. So, so for the process for like I guess educating because I think yeah, the so, donor put some the fight, so the drug test he failed he failed the one before after the fight so my last fight boom you the locker room they come get you before the fight before you start like wrapping up and stuff so they always like right before the fight not right before but like me in the locker room getting ready before you start getting ready and stuff before you get like start getting ready and stuff get your hands wrapped put your outfits on and stuff they tell you. You go in the bathroom and they watch you pee in a the cup. Then they watch you, they, they close it, They you watch them seal it, and you put your initials on it. Mm -hmm. Then they put it in a bag, close it up. Then after the fight, same thing. So, so before like that and after, just in case you maybe you take, take something, something in between. Yeah. yeah, okay. So that's just normal protocol. So every yeah. fight, just about, you're always getting tested. And, mm -hmm. and, and so for him to kind of go, I don't know why, why, why am I, I is know. that just kind of. If I see everybody got conspiracy theories, I don't know. I think, I mean, and the guy looked 
if you think about it, you go back and look at it. I don't know. He's just, I don't know. He he looked different when he was fighting. Yeah. I ain't. What it do? What it do? It's nine oh three boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Sorry, man. Um. Canelo Alvarez and Ryan Garcia are a disgrace to the sport of boxing, and uh, I'm explaining that. I just ran across this clip earlier, and um, I played that because I need a lot of you motherfuckers to understand something. Um, we go too far with the word pro-black. Um, you motherfuckers don't know what that shit mean. That shit mean, oh, it's some way deeper shit to that shit. Um, the point I'm saying is, you motherfuckers don't have to be pro-black just to be fair. You don't have to be pro-black just to call it just like it is. You That's not pro-black. Just because you're defending a black fighter who was cheated by a Mexican fighter, it don't mean you want some pro-black shit. You just calling out what's wrong. You just calling out right or wrong. That's how, this is some right or wrong, true or false type shit. This ain't even no black, uh, this a black issue and we, all the blacks must band together. No, you motherfuckers ain't even going to do that. We should have done that uh, uh, several, several uh, <laughs> motherfucking, anyway. This ain't even no, like, because Kenneth Sims is just a fighter that just want to be great, that train hard, that try to do it the right way. And this is coming from the perspective of a fighter who dedicated. So this is how, that's why I wanted to give a, a picture of what this is just somebody who is dedicated to. The, and I'm just telling you real shit. That's why it's way more fighters on that dope than you think. That's why a lot of them ain't speaking out. When motherfuckers get power with steroids, it's a lot of fighters stay quiet. Because they dirty too. It's a dirty game. But it's it's fighters who dedicate themselves to the sport. They don't they don't you do no shortcuts, don't drink, don't smoke, don't pop no pills, no none of that. And they gotta deal with motherfuckers who is on that dope. Imagine how they feel. Imagine how, how they feel when you dedicate your life to the sport and you try to do this shit fairly. When you realize you in a game where boy motherfuckers trying to knock your head off any way they can. And not only are they trying to knock your head off any way they can. It is a group of fans that don't give a fuck how a non-black fighter beat a black fighter as long as that motherfucker lose. That's something that black fans are having a hard time accepting. Um, I ain't seen no group. Like I said, bro, I say this shit all the time. Nobody fights for black, black people. Whether he been shot down in the streets by a cop, no matter what it is, nobody comes and says it's injustice done to black people, bro. And that includes the sport of boxing. They not going to do it. They're not going to do it. So, I'm just letting you know, in their eyes, it's all about winning. It's a lot of Mexicans. Uh, like Canelo. That's why Canelo embraced Ryan. A lot of them are proud for him with, for what he did. As long as you got that W. I don't give a fuck what you had to do to get it. Whatever you done. It's a lot of motherfuckers that's really proud of what he did. You think motherfuckers don't know? You think just because a lot of people ain't speaking out, they don't know? You think the rumors ain't already been out? Bro, this man, this shit just like in the man, rumors been out, bro. You come out of Eddie Reynoso gym, bro. Um I can only imagine if uh Keyshawn Davis, Terrence Crawford, and Shakur pop dirty, bro. Bo Mac, they 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 try to give they try to send them to prison for that shit. He be looking at prison time and we be the first to fucking convict him. Like I said, I know Jarrell Miller ain't no star, bro, but the way black people clowned him when he popped dirty. Go back. Go back and look at it. I just want you motherfuckers to go back in time. Do you remember the time when we fell in love? Yeah, remember that shit. Just go back and look at the way black people didn't think. It wasn't no ifs. I never heard one if when, when Big Baby Miller popped dirty. When Dylan White popped dirty, there was no ifs. When Connor being popped dirty, there was no ifs. It wasn't no less weight. Let's play this out. We don't know all the facts. I ain't never heard that when a black fighter popped dirty. So, it ain't the casual fans don't know. They just don't know about the drug testing. And they just don't understand it. No, they don't want to understand it. Most casual fans, they love to see a black fighter lose. Bro, we seen it with Floyd for years. He wasn't a star because people love to see him fight. 
he was a star because they looked, he, he fought mostly non-black fighters and they was hoping he'd lose. That's why they showed up. That's when casual fans show up. That's why when a black fighter fight a Mexican or a non-black fighter and a non-black fight, fighter supposed to be the shit and he got a good chance of knocking out the black fighter, casual fans show up for that. <laughs> it's plain and simple, bro. Um, instead of embracing the South, everybody hate on that South. Instead of enjoying the fact that black fighters have been the best for a long time, instead of embracing it, and being proud of that because we supposed to be Americans. No, they shit on it. They shit on it. Our style is the only style to get shitted on. Motherfuckers don't never say the Mexican style is a dumb style because you, you it's a short-lived career. You're going to take a lot of punishment. They don't say that. They don't say that when an aggressive fighter can't close the gap. They don't say that shit. Boy, I think it's boring when an aggressive fighter, come forward fighter, don't know how to cut the ring off. And it's a whole lot of them that don't know how to do it. Or when you just a come for a fighter and that's all you know. I think that's pretty basic. But, you know, our style get called bored. No other style gets called. The, the Slovakia style, the Ukrainian style, none of those styles, the Russian style, they call it tough. They say Ukrainian fighters and Middle Eastern uh, and all them there and, and Eastern European fighters and Russian fighters, they tough. The Mexican fighters tough. The black fighters scary and they run and they bored. Come on, bro. Um, it, it's it's it is what it is. Like I say, you motherfuckers know. Um, I, I'm gonna go a step further. Like I don't think there's no black fighter we would fight for. It ain't just that Devin got a lot of haters and a lot of people hate on Bill. We wouldn't fight for Tank if he was cheating. Them same Tank fans that try to act like he invincible and, and Devin and Shakira just hating on him and they fans just hating on him. I don't think y'all would ride like that if uh, Tank was cheated. So I, I can't just blame it on, oh, they don't like Devin. Um, I don't know. I think I think it's become a, a thing where... Like I said, uh, just like they want to see us lose, we want to see us lose too. I think I think we think like that. Um, I think we want to see us lose too. Um, the fact that Canelo can be called the face of boxing, and he's a he's a known drug cheat. Um, he's a fighter that's known to pick his fights. Uh, Canelo fought like eight eight easy fights back to back. Uh, Callum's. Uh, yield drums. All them fights was just easy fights back to back. Canelo waited till David Benavidez lost the title at 168 and hurried up and scooped up them titles so easily, bro. The only so-called tough white fight was the Taylor Plant fight. Just easy, just maneuvered. Why didn't you want uh, Undisputed at 160 when you had three other titles? You needed one more belt to become Undisputed at 160 and Andre had the title. Why didn't you want that title? Why you didn't never try to go under spirit at 54? It's a reason why Canelo picked 168. That shit was sweet. Rocky Fielding. That shit was sweet. Nah, you didn't do that shit at 154 when both Charlos were down there and Andre were down there. Oh no, nah, you didn't want you didn't want no undisputed then. Soft ass shit. And you thought something was sweet about Bill. Huh? <laughs> Bill shocked that motherfucker. It's so pathetic, bro. And I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been <laughs> uh, holding on. I've been holding on to the fact that I've been firm on not supporting Benavidez versus Canelo because they didn't do it with Jamal. They didn't do it with Andre. They said them dudes was desperate. They wasn't a big, a big enough star for Canelo. Canelo don't need them. They need to fight each other. And what have they done to deserve a Canelo? And I watched that shit pass on by. And now he's going to fight Jamal. Now that Jamal damn near 35 and been inactive and ain't ain't in his prime no more. He gonna fight him. I think I think that's gonna be the fight in September against Jamal. But um nah we watched them two fighters get shitted on. But meanwhile Benavidez, everybody feels sorry for him. Everybody and you know but when it comes down down to it realistically, um like I said, we we ain't fight for the black fighters when they got duck bomb. But um I will say this about the Benavidez situation. 
If you're going to fight them, bro, fight them. If you ain't, just don't fight them. I don't give a fuck if you fight them or not. But to demand $200 million, you on dope and dog food, bro. You ain't even no $100 million fighter, bro. That's why... <laughs> It reminds me of when T.O. said, I need 10 mil to fight Devin Haney. Bro, you ain't never made five. You ain't never made four million. And this motherfucker gonna say, to fight Devin Haney, I need 10 mil. But now that Devin lost, T.O. and his father come out and say, I'm glad he lost. This was great for box. Man, I, 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 I'm not the only one who done seen all the fans that come Sean Porter. A lot of them said it was great for boxing for Ryan to win. And their excuse was the underdog story. It wasn't the underdog story. That ain't why it was great for Devin to lose, bro. You just wanted to see him lose, bro. It is amazing, but he's not a star. But the moment he lose, that shit make headlines all over the country. All over the world. He's not a star, though. He's not a draw. Nobody knows him, but everybody know him when he lose. Just stop it, bro. Just stop it. It is it is beyond pathetic. It is beyond pathetic. I watch so many of you motherfuckers who claim you a diehard boxing fan. And I'm going to tell you something. It's channels more than fans. It's these channels that's directing these narratives. Oh, boy. <sighs> For none... Uh, just four years ago, bro, you sounded like Stokely, Stokely Carmichael. Uh, four years ago, you sounded like uh, a young Fred Hampton or some shit. You sounded like you was one of the members of the Black Panther Party. Um, you old motherfuckers. It ain't, it, it ain't enough baby powder in the world that I could put on my hands. To, just you motherfuckers. You old motherfuckers need to grow up, bro. Just, just four years ago, you, you, you was damn near pro-black. No, you was damn near pro black four years ago. Let me tell you something. You used the front runner up in the fight for Wilder. Oh no, you was calling out racism. You was calling out this. You was calling out that. Every video was about injustice and the black man and the white man. I'm gonna tell you something. All you needed was some of them goddamn uh, bean pies. That that's all you was missing was some bean pies and one of them pieces on the top of your shit. I damn near thought you was up under Elijah Muhammad. <laughs> the honorable Elijah Muhammad and Farrakhan and them. Um, I don't know. Ever since you got off that wilder shit, you've been a monkey ever since. Now you done jumped on tank nuts. Um, and now you hate David and Bill and you want to expose them. You a bitch. And I think any motherfucker that's black, I don't give a fuck about no non-black motherfucker that ain't going to fight for David because I don't expect you to. But any black fucking content creator that has not took a stand bro and and and, and took a stand and, and fought for a justice and seen a motherfucker that was done wrong and you playing that let's see and we don't know you a hoe and you a bitch and you know deep down in your motherfucking heart if a motherfucker done that to you bro you you know it's wrong you know it's wrong um you motherfucker just playing on the internet bro you playing on the internet you playing on the internet you know i'm telling you you became an attorney when that when that glove gate shit came you you was the lead attorney in the case against <laughs> yeah wilder versus the state of boxing you was the fucking lead attorney i i, I just don't know bro i just don't know and now all of a sudden uh you you <laughs> Now, now you think it's a conspiracy against Ryan? I just don't know, bro. A lot of you dudes just playing on the internet. You playing on the internet. Um, just playing, bro. <laughs> it, it can't get that deep, bro. It can't get that serious, bro. Just like you motherfuckers tried to accuse Bud of being on steroids when he beat Earl. It was a bigger... It was way more black people accusing Bud of being a dirty fighter than it is black channels that's accusing Ryan of being a dirty fighter. And this is what this is why Ryan can show up at the Canelo fight and get autographs by black fans and everybody and everybody and he can show up and not feel ashamed because nobody never shamed him. The boxing world did not shame Ryan at all. There was no shame. It's been every excuse in the book for him. Nobody has found him guilty. So no 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 he he should feel comfortable going anywhere. No, ain't nobody. We didn't know. No, we swept this. We this shit is water under a bridge. And I'm gonna tell you another thing. 
at B Sound but come back positive, bro. Black fans, just get up. Stop thinking we gonna win. We not gonna win. <laughs> it ain't no win in this shit, bro. It ain't no win and it ain't no justice. They just gonna say, well, the drug cause I've heard many fighters, many fans say, well, even if he did pop dirty, can we just can we honestly say that it's the drug is the reason why Ryan won? I don't I still don't think that the drug affected his win. I think he would have won anyway. That's gonna be the new narrative. It don't matter, bro. It don't matter if they have caught him on camera uh, putting that dope up in him. It don't matter if they caught him on camera putting that needle and injecting itself with them fluids. It don't matter, bro. It just don't matter. Um, dirty game. That's why I say you motherfuckers don't want me to be uh, one of the trainers or coaches in boxing because um, I believe in the eye for an eye. If the game dirty, um, yeah. I told you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You can go from a drug dealer to a jack boy in these streets. Yeah, you motherfuckers robbing and shit and doing fuck shit. I'm telling you, bro. I'm a rob too. I'm a rob too. So I'm just, I'm just telling you. I hope Bill and Devin have learned not to be fair no more. Uh, I'm not saying for him to take steroids, but I'm just saying uh, you need to just watch yourself, bro. Watch yourself. And uh, if anything, you know what's real. What's what's sad? All black fighters know deep down. Even if I am cheated, my black fans ain't gonna ride for me. We is not gonna ride for you. We is not gonna ride for you if you get cheated. We will not, but let you pop dirty, we're gonna be the first to baptize you. Black fans realize, black black fighters realize that, that even if I get cheated in this boxing, we won't be there to uh, call that shit out. <laughs> and we'll blame him for the other motherfucker cheating. Well, you should have been watching him. So, you know, it's amazing. Um, it's all about narratives. It's damage control all through. They they let this shit go viral, but they damage controlled it. It's they let if was the was the, was the number one word. It was the number one. Okay, but if okay, but we don't know. He did pop dirty, but we still don't know. It it, it ain't no he popped dirty. It, we we still don't know. They kept that narrative. It's, that's the narrative. Let me tell you something. When Wilder lost to Fatback Fury in the second fight, bro, um, it was on ESPN, first take, every sports channel. It was all over the world. Headlines. When they first started saying Wilder's making an excuse, I never saw an interview, none of that shit. Wilder was behind the scenes talking to somebody, and he said, man, uh, my suit might have been too heavy. I don't know what's going on. He was just trying to figure out what, what happened. And they ran with that shit, and the headlines was Wilder said his suit was too heavy. Fight hype, fight hub started interviewing like on a on a smear campaign, interviewing all fighters, all fans. What do you think about Wilder saying he lost because his suit was too heavy? When there was some, when there was some, when they was in the back room in the locker room, that ain't some uh, Wilder said in the post fight interview on when he was in the ring and being interviewed. No. This was some backstage that some nose has reporter broadcast that shit and the entire world went with it without proof, without anything. Oh man, he talking about this suit was too heavy. He talking about the boy glove. He wider than came up with 15 different excuses. I'm telling you, between showbiz, counterpunch, uh, for none of them, bro, y'all just I'm y'all the reason why I say we must have a war within ourselves. You motherfuckers gonna destroy us. You motherfuckers gonna destroy us. I, you know, and I always talk about try, try, try. And that motherfucker there, I, I, I would have loved to met you when you was a black Muslim and you was with the nation. I would have loved to, yeah, my brother. See the white man and see that swine is bad for your mind, my brother. Now my brother, the white man, and you motherfuckers. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I just want to say this to black folks. Uh, there is nothing that will ever turn me against my people. Bro, we 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 the worst. I, I can't stand you motherfuckers. I don't like being around black people. You want me to be? I don't like being around them. I, 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 I just don't. I have no friends in this world. I stay to myself. I don't trust black men. I see a bitch in them every time I look at a black man. I see a hoe. Every time I see a black man, I see a bitch. So I can't stand black folks. Oh, no. I can't stand you hateful motherfuckers. But I'll never turn on you.
I never turn my message into fuck black folks and, and just fucking over black folks and, and side with the white boy. I will never. I don't give a fuck how much destruction I see. I never go from a revolutionary to a coon. Cause that's, that's who you are, you true motherfucker. No, you was a black Muslim. You was with the nation. You was passing out bean pies and Muhammad speaks and Farrakhan speaks uh, papers. No, you was against the white boy. But now you with the white boy. Now you with the white boy. Every time a black fighter is in a close fight, you're going to go with the non-black fighter. Every time a black fighter lose, you're going to shit on him. No, nah, bro. And just like you for none, you played pro-black too with that wild shit. You played like you was pro-black. Bro, I ain't nothing pro-black about you. You really a white boy. You are you 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 just you just a proper Negro. I'm gonna say it like that. You's a proper Negro. You show bit all you bro, it ain't enough baby powder in the world. You you'll never be a man. You'll never be a man, you a bitch. Every last one of you motherfuckers is a bitch. 99% of all black content creators, I have no respect for you. 98.3. 98.3 of all black channels, I can't stand you. I don't respect you. Uh, I would never shake your hand. I don't want to be on your fucking panel. I don't want to join hands with you motherfuckers. I don't want to be cool. I just want to do my own thing. I just don't trust black folks. I, ju- I, I, I just don't do. I just don't want to join hands with you motherfuckers. I don't trust you motherfuckers for that dollar and four likes. You motherfuckers will turn on your own people for 72 likes and a five dollar fucking cash out and a three dollar super chat. You motherfuckers will turn on your motherfucking people. You pathetic motherfucker. So I hate you motherfucker. I hate you. But I, lo- I, I love my ancestors, so it's the love for my ass. I could never turn on my people. I could never join hands with the white boy to destroy my people. I could never do that. No matter how much self-hate I ever see, I never direct my motherfucking passion for my people to de- want to destroy my people. I never, I never switch to that shit. I never switch to that shit. Um... No, nah, I'd, ra- I- I'd rather just give up before I ever join hands with the white boy to destroy my... P- i never do that shit. i never use that excuse to go against my own because we go against our own. Now, nah, i never I never be a coward like that. That's a coward. That's a weak man. That's a weak motherfucker. That's a weak motherfucker. You feel like the white boy too strong and you... If you can't beat him, join him. So you join the... You's a bitch. And you might as well bend over like a hoe. You might as well bend over. Literally. You might as well. You motherfuckers, I swear, it ain't never been so cool in our culture to be a bitch. To not have no principle, to not stand for nothing. To not give a fuck when something happened to a black man. I just, I, it is just too much hate for me. It is way too much hate for me anytime so many black men can see another black man get done wrong by another motherfucker and we never get offended. And not only do we not get offended, we cheer for him. We smoke backwoods with Ryan. We want to be a security. We ride with him. We on stage. He on stage performing with YG. He on rap tours. The rappers embrace him. Dizzy Banks doing shit with him. Deion Sanders bring him in his locker room. We a fucking disgrace to life. Fuck some pro-black. We can't even be fair towards each other. Fuck being pro-black. We can't even be fair to each other. I'm telling you, you a lot of you black channels are poisonous. Y'all cater. Y'all, I'm telling you, boy, you motherfuckers. It's just like when they started uh, giving grants to the church. Uh, the, the the preacher changed his message. <laughs> no, I'm just telling you. Now, this is real shit. Uh, well, the early 2000s when the white boy, uh, they made it with black church. That's why you start seeing million dollar churches and all that third and they started paying black preachers and after that the message changed. Now it's just by prosperity and you just get everything else later and uh, if it didn't work it's just some shit you did and it's just all about money and some old sh- It's just the message changed. It just changed. And it wasn't even, I'm telling you the preacher don't even care if you uh... <laughs> I mean, it ain't even about living right no more. Even the preacher tell you, listen, you can damn near do whatever you want Monday through Saturday as long as you show up at church on Sunday. 
No, no, no. You can damn near uh, do whatever you want uh, Monday through Saturday, but as uh, long as you pull up at church on Sunday. Uh, I'm going to tell you another thing. The real reason why, if you notice that the church doesn't fail and it's just a place for black women, it's a black woman's paradise. That's what I, that's just, the black church is just a black woman's paradise. And I'm going to tell you another thing. The black church done ran, it didn't just run black men away. It ran the kids away. Kids don't give a fuck about church. Real shit. Kids don't feel nothing. They don't get nothing out. And you know, even when I was a kid, uh, you know, uh, we really didn't give a damn about church, but we enjoyed some of the songs. But I'm just going to be honest. We mainly, uh, it was them after uh, church, bro. Yeah, when it was some food. Oh, boy, even my cousins used to go, hey, they feeding their church at 3 o'clock? Yeah, yeah, they feed. Oh, I'm gone. Yeah, we used to mainly go for the food. I'm <laughs> just being honest. <laughs> but, yeah, the revivals and shit. You know, they be cooking every night, boy. Motherfucker. Hey, we used to, hey, we used to have my four five plates. <laughs> I'm gonna get about three sodas out there cool. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The revivals with the yeah, we used to go to eat. But what I'm saying is even the kids don't give a damn about church no more. It just ain't no love and nothing we involved in. That's why I say even though I don't believe in the whole message and that's something the white boy taught us, uh the church at least used to talk about love. That shit is over. It's about money. So the bigger your church, the more you in tune with the Lord or some shit. Um, but then they say a rich man getting to heaven is like a needle in a haystack, some shit like that. I don't know. Nash, the more richer you are, the closer you are to God. But, um, yeah, yeah, when the government started giving grants, uh, the preacher changed his message. And that's how you motherfuckers do on YouTube. Black content creators, I just can't say it enough. Y'all some bitches. 98.9% .9 of you motherfuckers are some hoes. And I, I just got to be honest. I try not to really. I really don't even like speaking on channels. I, I really don't like doing it. But. You know. One thing I never. I, I just couldn't do it. Um, And when you have a group. Don't get me wrong. Everybody ain't going to be the same. Everybody different in this and that. And I may not agree with everybody in the group or whatever. And it's channels that I like more. But. I could never diss um, or go against the LDBs. I just couldn't do it. Whether I agree with everything you do or say, I just can't go against it. I can't go against some brothers that's uh, making Black Fighter stars. I watched them make Wilder a star. I watched them make Earl a star. I watched them make Devin Haney a star. This is a fact. I watched these dudes put in work. I watched these dudes put in work. Give a fuck what you talking about. And you can try to say all that Earl Spence and bullshit and maybe you motherfuckers got out of hand with that shit and damn near lost your way. But the point I'm saying is I could never go against the LD. I can't do it, bro. I can't go against some brothers that's um, helping fighters become bigger names. Uh, that fight for fighters. I can't knock that, bro. That's our problem is black people. We always want to critique them. I'm going to tell you something. How can, it, it, it's just like this. How, how the fuck can you be pro-black and you listen to boxing and you don't like 903 boxing? Because that's what I stand on. But we'll we, we find one little reason where he sound a little too country. Ah, uh, he from Texas. Yeah, they talk. They slow. Uh, you just use any reason not to fuck with me, but you love black folks, right? You want to fight white supremacy. You, you, you got the uh, black agenda, right? That's what I got. Then why, why we can't come together? We are, I'm telling you, bro. I ah, hear Scorpio. We'll get to we'll get to naming any reason not to fuck with another black man and build with him. Nah, nah, cause he from the south and I'm from the east coast. Nah, nah, because he from Texas. He he like Earl and them. No, bro. I could never against go against any black channel that um speak up for black fighters or just speak up for black people. I could never go against a channel like that. I could never go against a brother that tell it like it is. I could never, even if I don't like your delivery, even if your style of commentary ain't my style, I never go. Cause that true motherfucker, he done dedicated his life. He 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 called himself the LDBC that LB, LDBC killer. You dedicate your life to going against a black group that just talk about boxing and uh, getting their fighters heard and certain shit like that. That's worth going against. You motherfuckers. I, I just don't know, bro. There is no black group I will never dedicate my life to going against. 
I just don't, whether I agree or disagree, you motherfuckers, I'm telling you, that's the shit we do. Because you just want a black enemy, bro. I'm telling you, stay the fuck off my channel, bro, if you want monkey shit. I'm telling you, and every now and then, Every now and then, I damn near get caught up in the in the in the. I get to slipping on banana peel. It just be too much monkey shit, and but for the most part, bro, I try to stay completely on code. I try to stay completely true to who the fuck I am. I try to stay true to who the fuck I am. There is no price ticket for me. There is no price. There is no nothing. I don't give a fuck up, and I really just want black folks in my shit. I don't give a fuck about none of you other motherfuckers. And if you is coming shot, and I really don't want no white folks, for sure. Just know what I'm just telling you. I don't even want a wave cap wearing white boy. I don't want a tape of fade wearing white boy. I don't want a fat pad DJ screw zero uh, sipping on some sister. I don't want that kind of white boy. I just really don't. Knock, I think you need to be with your people. And if you love black folks so much, try to convince your people to love us. So, it is what it is, bro. But now nah, I never go against the LD. I, I just couldn't do it, bro. I, I just to see so many black channels try to go against this group like them motherfuckers done something to you. You a bitch. Just a bitch, bro. I will never. No, and, and the only black channels I call out is coon channels. True is a coon channel. Showbiz is a coon channel. For none is a old rusty white face coon. Oh, you must you a bitch to me. And I, I, I hold more anger towards you old motherfucker because you know better. Bro, you way more educated than that. You got that white boy's education. You should at least have a little more. You, you, you know, you need to work on that common sense shit. You need to work on A lot of you motherfuckers, <laughs> you think you get, you get that white boy education and, 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 you, and you think you some shit. Man, listen, bro. Um, nah, I don't like you motherfuckers. I'm just telling you. I don't want to be on your panel. I don't want to collab or none of that shit. I stand on black business. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to bring nobody else together but black folks. We'll figure out that other shit. We'll unite with some more motherfuckers after that shit. We need to get our shit together. We got to do it, bro. And it's going to take more black men. We got to stand together, bro, on something. It, that's why I say... um. That's why I say I could I could never I could never go against no group of black men that's um you know fighting for black fighters. I, I could never go against you. I could never go against that. I don't know why I even said I just thought I just never do it because I be seeing channels that's dedicated to dissing these dudes. Like that's some bitch ass shit. Hey, what the fuck did these motherfuckers do to you to make you go against them? <coughs> it's just pathetic. It's just pathetic. Um, nah, nah. I got a white enemy. Yes, yeah, a lot of motherfucking black folks that ain't shit and full of self hate. But my ultimate enemy, enemy is um, uh, I know who it is, bro. Black folks don't have enough power to really be my enemy. You motherfuckers really just a distraction. Just like Mexican, you motherfucker just a distract. You could never have enough power. A black man, nor a Mexican, or no Latino could never have enough power to be my fucking enemy. You just a fucking distraction. That's all the fuck you is. We got to go to war. And Latinos, y'all too. It, it need to be a black war, a Latino war, because all you motherfuckers going to have to pick a side too. You can only be a black or a white Latin. I'm telling you that and I'm going to keep saying it. You got to pick a side. You got to go to the white boy or you got to come over here. I'm just telling you. You can't be both ways. You got to choose a side. Because Canelo and Ryan are both white Latinos. White boy. And I ain't talking about because they light skinned. They got, they, they white. 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 White boy. Right, Canelo be golfing and everything now. Him of be golfing with Tom Brady. And he's a white boy. And Ryan definitely is. He's a white boy that used black folks and black swagger to be cool. It just is what it is. I told you, you want to tell me a mess. I fuck with Abel Romos or Barrios way before I fuck with a fucking Ryan or Canelo. Them motherfuckers ain't even real Mexicans. Them motherfuckers is not no motherfucking real Mexican. Not at all. Canelo so fucking Hollywood. I didn't be that nigga. And I was trying to look shit. You don't love your people, bro. You don't give a fuck about your people, bro. 
Ryan just said he was a Mexican yesterday. That motherfucker, ain't, his entire career, he ain't never gave a shout out to his people. That motherfucker just give a shout out to Jesus. I just don't know. You know, my Lord is say, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm over like, 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 like uh, my, uh, Craig said on uh, Friday after that. You over here on the corner uh, using the Lord to sell pussy. <laughs> yeah, you using the Lord to uh, try to get a motherfucker to be a fan of you, bro. Um, you, you, you such a, you such a man of God, but you admitted to smoking and drinking leading up to the fight. Nobody, nobody discredited. Nobody said you a fake for that. Now they said Ryan keeping it real. At least he admitted to it. Meanwhile, bro, I, I neighborhood preacher can't even it can't even be a rumor out of him. Or uh, he he gonna lose the whole church. The whole church gonna vote. I don't know, bro. Shit, just plain to see, bro. It, it and. I'm telling you, I ain't letting it go. I don't give a fuck. Man, 903, it happened. I ain't letting shit go. I ain't letting a motherfucking thing go. Nah, 903, just start telling about it. You done made by 10. I'm going to make 10 motherfucking more. I'm tired of motherfuckers thinking they can do anything to us. We have no respect, bro. Don't you see it? I just, I don't you see it, bro? Do you not get it? We have no respect. No other group respects us. That's why they feel like they can do that shit and get off. Why? Because black people going to come to their rescue. They're going to be the first to shit on the black fighter. Just a black man in any situation. Fuck boxing in any in any aspect. I'm telling you, bro, if they could do that shit to us when we do crimes, bro, it wouldn't be no mass in cars. But we don't know if he done it yet. <sighs> Texas got a 97% conviction rate. Texas alone got a 90 uh, some per percent uh, conviction rate. But you mean you motherfuckers want to tell me let's wait till the facts come out with Ryan and we don't know. But if if it's true, now if it's true, we we got to do what we got to do now. Now, but if it ain't true, but we don't know if it's true. But it could be true, but I don't think it's true. And it ain't true, but it is true, but it ain't. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. I ain't letting it go. I don't give a fuck about it. Stay off my motherfucking channel. Stay the fuck off my channel. And I'm telling you, if you get tired of hearing black shit, stay the fuck off my channel. You motherfuckers just want to hear the science? Stay the fuck off my channel. I'm telling you, bro, I don't do no subscribers hustling. I speak whatever I feel. I don't give a fuck if a subscriber come or not. You motherfuckers can come and go. These bitches, they come and go. And all that other shit, bro. You can come and go. No, nah, bro. You can't even talk boxing the way you motherfuckers. It's just too built on race, bro. It just... <laughs> Yeah, you can't even just pay attention to the sweet science, bro. Cause any given fight, one of our fighters could be cheated. I'm telling you, a lot of these foreign fighters that be coming over here fighting black fighters, man, a lot of them motherfuckers be dirty. Anyway, they don't even get tested in Japan. You motherfuckers don't even say nothing about that shit. They don't even test them over there. You motherfuckers, bro. Like I said, this is the first time in their history, probably since Canelo popped dirty, that the fans did not bash them. Fans did not bash this dude at all. I watched the entire boxing world. 98% of all fans have said we must give Ryan a chance. And we shall not convict him until we find out for sure. Only one we ever seen do that to. Um, yeah, I, yeah I, I, I don't respect most of you motherfucking channels. And punch drawn, bro, you just, I'm telling you, bro, you just, you just suicidal at this point. Uh, every time you look at that mirror, you just punch the mirror. You just break the mirror and shit. Uh, just stop it, bro. Just stop it. But, um, but that motherfucker just gonna do what he do. That motherfucker, that motherfucker there, I'm telling you, you, I'm, I'm starting to think you really love black folks. Like I said, I just think a couple brothers... Uh, fucked your girl back in the game. You just never got over that shit, or just something, something that a black man did that, that, that made you hate this sauce, the so much that you really love it deep down inside. <sighs> I bet Punch Drunk love him some showbiz. <laughs> I bet them other get you can get along with them kind of black men. I'm telling you, them the kind of is 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 Mexicans and all kind of other non-blacks that don't like black people at all. But there's certain black people they'll pull up on. 
Oh, they'll support him. They'll support old True and them. And that motherfucker's some bitches. I can't say it enough. You motherfuckers some hoes. <laughs> that motherfucker True is a hoe. You motherfuckers is a bitch. Nah. Any channel I ever bring up, it's because you a coon. It ain't gonna be because I'm you just another black channel trying to come up. Or because you believe this fighter. No, nah, I'm going to call you out because you're a monkey channel. Money Brown, monkey channel. Monkey channel. I heard everything boxing say, um, uh, I respect Ryan for pointing out the elites and all this. Way. Oh, you motherfuckers are bitches, bro. He pointed out the elites and right. You motherfuckers believe that now? I'm telling you, bro, you motherfucker, this is Dauphine shit. You motherfuckers don't even believe your Dauphine uncle, but you can fall for this shit that Ryan is doing. You ain't falling for it. You just a hoe. You just a hoe. You don't like David, and you just, you don't give a fuck about him being cheated. You motherfuckers hoes, bro. I think 98% of you. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. That's what you are. That's what you are, and I don't want fame off none of you motherfuckers, and I ain't finna go back and forth with you. But I think you a bitch. I think you a hoe. And I think you know you a hoe. You know you a hoe. I just could never wake up and dedicate my life to trying to build up others and tear my own people down. I could never live with my... I couldn't look in the mirror. I couldn't look in the mirror. I'm just glad that I just wasn't a motherfucker that read uh, as told to me the autobiography of Malcolm X and MOBA and, and just read that shit and never let that shit soak in and, and build a, a fighting spirit within me. I'm just glad that when I heard when I heard that and I heard this and I learned this, it just it it brought a love, it brought a it it brought a spirit of fighting and it brought a spirit of integrity. That bro when you see something wrong, I just, you you speak against that shit. You speak against that shit. So, I'm just going to call it like I see it, bro, and um, I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't give a fuck who, 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 who I lose along the way or who I gain or whoever, bro. I don't give a fuck about that. I don't give a fuck about that. And ain't no price that you can give me, bro. It ain't no amount of money you could ever give me, bro. It ain't... You motherfuckers are pathetic. I just don't know, bro. It is... It is, it is just, oh my God. <laughs> Even Tim Bradley said, man, ban this motherfucker. Tim Bradley is the most fire Negro on YouTube. Even he said, ban the, y'all motherfuckers even got Tim Bradley shaking his head. Even Tim Bradley is like, what's wrong with these Negroes? I just want you motherfuckers to just think and just look around. That's what everybody just looking and pointing at eyes like we just some monkeys in the zoo. Like, what's wrong with them folks? What's wrong with them folks? Mexicans lied for Canelo like a motherfucker when he popped dirty. It was the meat. It was the, they tried to sweep that shit on the rug when he lost the bill. I'm telling they never get, nobody get exposed but the black fighter. Nobody else gets exposed. So... It ain't never exposed. It's just a misunderstanding when they pop dirty. So, I'm telling you, like I said, Mexicans, they do not see that shit as um, cheating. They do not. Cheat, uh, cheating a black fighter is not cheating. To, and that's that's the most non-black. They don't consider that cheating, bro. And they don't give a fuck about a black fighter getting cheated. They just want to go back and look at them replays and see Devin get dropped three times and trip for that shit. I'm telling you, you really got drunk fans at this fight. They just want to see a black fighter get dropped. Give a fuck how it happened. So. Um. And like I said, Tank is the lead monkey. Of, I'm telling you, bro, if you're a Tank fan, I just don't know how you can continue to be one. I don't know how. This motherfucker went in Canelo dressing room like a little bitch. But you supposed to be the face of box. You supposed to be too big. But you, you bow down like a hoe. Like a little hoe. Your whole team is a bitch, including Kenny Ellis, including Coach Cap, because all you motherfuckers gangbangers, whenever you bring up Devin Haney or Shakur to Kenny Ellis or, Kenny Ellis or uh, Calvin Ford, they always diss them. They always speak like they ain't nowhere near on tank level. But if they bring up T.O., they get excited. They bring up, in a way, they bring up anybody else, Calvin and Kenny Ellis, oh, that's a good fight. But when it comes to Shakur and Devin, they always try to shit on them. 
I heard Kenny Elliott say some shit like, I mean, yeah, because we don't know nothing about it. I mean, man, I can't, I can't take that uh, testing positive shit for serious. Man, we don't know about that shit. We'll have to wait to the end to find that. He brushed that shit off so fast, just like Lena Elliott did. And then gonna say, well, and they were like, well, what do you think about Devin coming back? You think he can come back? I don't know. I know one thing, it ain't number punches at 140, so he, he gonna have to try to move real strategic. Like Devin scared. Stop it, bro. Just because Tank don't like Devin, bro, don't mean you old ass trainers gotta get in this game banging shit, bro. That's why I say a lot of you old motherfuckers pathetic. Leonard Ellerby, Kenny Ellis, all you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers know this a dirty game. You know exactly what he done. <sighs> I didn't say what I said. I don't take a bitch ass thing back. Um, you motherfuckers bitches to me. I tell you, I don't want to be in your shit. I don't, I don't, I don't fuck that shit and fuck boxing and fuck just trying to keep shit box. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I'm telling you, it's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Every, every, every little step I take. We'll be together. Every little step I take, everywhere I turn, I just see monkeys. I just see a bunch of self hating. I see weave all down you mother, weave down to you motherfuckers' ankles now. You motherfuckers got that Brazilian hair hanging all the way to your goddamn ankle. I just, I don't, I'm telling, I don't even know what a real woman look like no more. I just, I just don't know. I'm telling you, I just don't know with all these BBLs and all these cheek enhancements and shit. You motherfuckers trying to move your cheeks up and we can barely see your eyes now. And you hot cheekbone motherfuckers and all this shit. I just don't know how a real woman look no more. I really, with all these eyelashes and I, I don't know how a real woman look no more. I'll tell you, bro, all the motherfuckers want to do is fuck. Well, you motherfuckers dress. I'm telling you, bro, I don't know what a real woman look like. I, I just don't know. So, yeah. I'm telling you, I had to cut cut my shit. I seen too many men with hair and twists on the top of you. I I just seen too many men trying to make their hair longer than they want. I just had to quit. I ain't saying every man that got long hair is something wrong with, but all I'm saying is just too many men with hair. And when I saw these colors and colorfuls, and I just I just couldn't do it. Taper fading waves, pimping. That's my era. Yeah, we had braids with Ivers and them, but all I'm saying is. I'm just going to keep my taper fading away. I don't want no hair. I don't want no twist coming over the top of my forehead. I got to swipe my hair like a little broad. I just, don't, I just don't know. And I will never dye my hair. I will never do none of that weird ass shit. I'm just so tired of seeing men over 40 years old with some orange green motherfucking hair. Blowing hair. I'm just tired of seeing it, bro. Just tired of seeing it. But... Yeah, I think you YouTubers, I think you some bitches. I think 98% of you is a hoe. Some of you motherfuckers might like listening to me, uh, but I think you a bitch. If you don't speak up on this shit with Devin, you a hoe, and I don't want you listening to me. How about that? Yeah, I don't want, I, I, I'm telling you, I, I don't know. You want to come get some laughs? He, he just entertaining? No, bro, I got a black agenda. Don't ever, out of, out of all the jokes, the little songs and all that, don't ever get it twisted. I have a black agenda. That shit is way bigger than boxing, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much worse it could get. I don't know if I don't know how much worse it could get. I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. Like I said, fuck pro black. We can't even be fair to each other. Fuck being pro black. And being pro good to you, I wish we could just be fair with each other. God damn. It's going to take a miracle just for us to be fair with each other. I'm telling you, we terrorize other uh, neighborhoods like we terrorize our own, bro. They would have been shot us down. Well, I'm through. I ain't said enough. Fuck you, man. It's just so fucking frustrating. It just so fucking, and then some motherfuckers are, ah, oh, it's just Devin, his favorite, man, I, it ain't, it's way bigger than some Devin shit, bro. You motherfuckers will do this to Shakur. You motherfuckers will do this same shit to Shakur, and like I said, all you tank motherfuckers that act like you such a diehard tank fan, if he was to get cheated, you'll shut up like a little hoe. So, it ain't, it ain't just Devin, it's just a black man, period. It's gonna get back to where they can start, uh, start back hanging eyes from trees and shit. We ain't gonna do shit. So...
dragging us down the street, chained up and shit like they did that boy. Uh, and then named a prison after him. Yeah, one of the Texas prison uh, bird unit. That's named after a black man. Uh, what was that out there in Russ? No, no, no. That was out there in Jasper. One of them white folks uh, chained them up and dragged them uh, to their truck and dragged them all around and killed them. Yeah, the man name was Bird. They named the prison after him. I'm Texas a motherfucker. I swear to God. I, I swear. That's why I say Texas the most racist state. They named the prison after a black man that was wrongfully drugged all over East Texas by some white boys. And they beat him and tortured him. And after he died, they named the prison after the black man that was drugged all over the streets. <laughs> Pathetic. But I don't know. It, it, it got to get boring one day. Self-hate, it's going to have, it got to get tiring. It got to get tired. It's going to have to get boring after a while. Uh, it just seems to be nonstop excitement for you motherfuckers to want to destroy you. Destroy yourself. So. After this, I, I, I might take a few days off. I'm sick of you, motherfucker. I'm just telling you. I might just need to take a few days off. I'm sick of you, motherfucker. I am sick of you motherfuckers. I'm just sick of you motherfuckers. I, I just, it just... It just I'm telling you, bro, it, I'm telling you, when I hear a black fighter speak up on the shit and they say, man, that shit was wrong, I, I, I done got to where I started counting that shit because it's that rare that I see somebody say, that a black fan or a black fighter say, man, come on, bro, he, he a steroid chick. I done started counting because it's that few. Like I said, 98% of these motherfuckers saying, we don't know, we don't know. And like I said, bro, they gonna come. They, it don't matter what come out. Ryan can come out and say I did cheat. I did pop this. They ain't gonna say shit. They still they gonna say he still would have beat him anyway. So, yeah, what it is. Um, yep, Canelo and Ryan, bro, you motherfuckers are just a disgrace. And it just lets me know how desperate boxing is to have a non-black star. That's how desperate you motherfuckers are. You'll let a motherfucker take Star Wars. You'll let dirty fighters become the face of boxing and the top most promoted fighter. But both of them are drug cheats. I'm telling you, bro. They really want Ryan to be the second coming after Canelo. They want him to take over by. I'm telling you. And most mainstream or in, that's what they want. They want Ryan to be the next face of boxing. Canelo already said it. He after me. So, and I'm telling you, it ain't going to matter how many times Ryan lose. It ain't going to matter nothing. Him popping dirty for steroids has made him a bigger star. This is 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.